A health alert on the Treasure Coast. Look at that mess. Test results confirm what residents, businesses, and environmentalists fear. That algae is toxic to both people and pets. Right now, until further notice, Martin County Health officials saying residents should not go into the water along the St. Lucie River, the canals, or even venture into the Stewart Sandbar because of toxic algae. Environmentalists are blaming the algae bloom on all the polluted water being released from Lake Okeechobee. We have team coverage tonight on the new test results and on how the pollution is already taking a toll on local businesses. We begin with News Channel 5's Alex Sands at Sandsprit Park. Alex? Kelly, Michael, as it is across so much of our area, these waters are a big source of recreation and business for so many people. The health department says there is reason for worry. In fact, across this area, across parts of this county, we're seeing signs like these, high bacteria levels. Tomorrow, algae warnings are coming up. The county telling people, stay out of the water. Spend time near the St. Lucie River, and you'll see it. The brown water is so far south, we can't find blue water. It's gone. Dave East knows these waters well. I won't go in it. I won't go in it. When you dive and you get down and you see the reef, where the reef used to have coral and be really pretty with sea fans, it's all just silted over rock now. So the coral and the fans that used to be there, they're gone. County health officials say it's a twofold problem toxic algae and high levels of bacteria throughout the St. Lucie River, Sanspirit Park, and a nearby sandbar. Neither problem's new. The bacteria feeds off of runoff, the algae from nutrients in the water. Both could spread and stay here for months. In the past, we didn't have uh, any high levels of bacteria in, in certain areas. The scope of the bacteria is increasing, how, how much it's of, the, of waterways it's affecting. Health officials say the algae can be dangerous, harmful to us and pets. It can make us nauseous, vomit. It can also make us break out in rashes. There is the health worry. This could be a problem for months. For Dave East, there is another worry. Not only our business, but a lot of local businesses. And um, our future doesn't look very, uh, very good when you see conditions like this. Stunned, knowing what was. It was just a month ago, if you'd have looked out the window of the plane down, and I'd have, and I'd have said, OK, where are we? Don't look up. You'd have said the keys. And now look at it. It's worse than Lake Okeechobee. Health officials are being careful, saying it's too soon to say if the algae and the bacteria problems may have been made worse by those recent discharges of water in Lake Okeechobee. That said, this could be the beginning, they tell us, of a much larger algae bloom and problems in the waterways here in Martin County. Back to you. Alex, thank you. So far, the health department says it has not found evidence of the algae or the bacteria on ocean-facing beaches or the Jensen Beach Causeway.